we yep. did see Ben get sent to losers by I think it was Esvat, right? Um, uh, yep, yep. So so Ben did struggle against another fox. Um, obviously Esvat and Lucky play pretty different. So gonna be curious if Lucky can show that same level of discipline against the wall that Ben puts up, and if he can yep. use the crouch cancel percents and some of the other advantages that fox to to sort of punish Ben's play style and, and yep. uh, take the set. Or if he's gonna put his own lucky spin on it. Because <laughs> I, is that yeah, what, is, that the, is that what lucky spin means? No, it means flow up? chart optimal punishes and edge guards. <laughs> All right, I, that's it. I'm saying it. Squid's a bully. Squid's a bully. That's the only way to explain it. I will oh. say, starting off early here, we talked at length after the SFAT set about how Ben could not find a grab early right. against SFAT, and here the first stop goes to a very early grab. Yep. Kill. Lucky able to gimp Ben back, which Esfat really didn't have either, right? Like Esfat had those sort of um, right. prolonged combos into big punishes. So yeah, he kind uh, of just back through shine thing. him, which is like not normally a chic thing, mm -hmm. but he just finds it anyways. So <laughs> Fox really always has the potential to gimp any character because shine is a move that mm -hmm. exists, you know. <laughs> so. Oh, really clean ledge dash down tilt for some reason. But it was really clean and it worked. So, <laughs> yeah, and again, we're we're definitely seeing Lucky also go for these crouch cancels. You thought there again, but Ben having some of the answers, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the hard fare at the higher percents. Um, oh. We've seen him grab a couple of crouches so far, so uh, that'll be something to watch out for. Oh, wow. Lucky finds a nair. I don't even know how. Yeah, that was such good awareness of like the his. I don't know, he acted as soon as he was actionable with something aggressive. And a lot of times when people kind of like get knocked back and then they're like recovering, you expect them to do something defensive, but Lucky's just immediately ready to go at him. He does it fast, so. Let's see if he can get any more percent on this stock. Good light shield to get pushed back. And Ben finds the forward air. Yeah, Lucky just paying a little bit too much of his shield to get out of that defense, uh, out of that tough situation. Uh, ben can follow up and, and look for the shield cup right after. Yep. Yeah, and Lucky's rarely the type of player that's going to be like, well, I'm just going to ledge stall until my shield comes back up or something, right? He's just like, nah, let's go back and fight, so. Ooh, he goes for that instant side beat to the top platform. Ben didn't look ready for it, but he finds another grab. This is a big difference. Oh, Nair? Yep, and to a strong to back air, really good edge guard situation there and closes it out. Now he's up two stocks to one and he's at low percent. So he's able to find another grab. Yep, like you say, he's just finding way more than we saw versus S-Fat a lot of times that uh, S-Fat, and a lot of times it's like, that was a forward air into grab, right? And S-Fat just wasn't letting, letting that combo at zero percent, so. Oh, and, <laughs> and he's he, finding he, these like, weird reverse grabs. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that was like the second or third one already. That yeah. Finds that like weird butt grab that I'm, I, it, I'm not it's, even really sure it's like kind that. of a butt grab but it's it's also catching lucky running through him um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. like one of them was lucky shined the back of his shield and then way bash through him and got grabbed that one he was like i think he had stopped so it was kind of a butt grab but he was like starting to run through him and then like so i was like oh is that it oh lucky he finds the shield gets a clean ledge dash to get back to center stage yeah it just runs right through him that was crazy but Having to walk past this wall now, Ben has gotten him up to 80% and all his arrows are going to be really strong. Finds a strong back air here. Is that enough? Oh, the ben... soft back air gives him one more chance. Doesn't oh. find the forward tilt. Wave shine Nair. Wave shine Nair, Norwalk classic. <laughs> oh, and he finds oh. the down tilt into the fair. That's going to take the first game. Oh my gosh, that was such Damn. a close one. Really good yep. stuff by Ben to, to pull it out in the last second there. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It... It looked really different, right? Like, yeah. Lucky putting on a ton of pressure in the corner, whereas Esfat would sort of be more willing to give up space in yep, order yep. to play that that game from the center stage. Yep. Um, and then Ben able to find a lot more grabs um, mm -hmm. than he was against Esfat, but also Lucky finding these like early percent high pressure plays. So yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. That that was really interesting to see a different take on the matchup. Yeah, kind of a different pace overall that they're playing. And uh, we did see Lucky fight Zayn Sheik, right? So it's like um, kind of seeing him adapt his play style versus the more uh, like aerial-based Sheik of Ben compared to the uh, more, I don't know, grab-based Zayn Sheik mm -hmm. to be reductive, you know? <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he steals the ledge. That was yep. really quick. Wave shine across the stage. Doesn't get it. Good SDI by him to make it really hard. 
I'm not sure what percent up smash kills, but I imagine Lucky felt like he needed one or two more shines, so. Ooh. Ooh he, there, here's another example of that crouch cancel. Yeah. He gets the crouch cancel on the jab, but the down smash. That was the kind of thing yeah. he was not allowing to happen. Yep. You actually saw Lucky start to dash. He, like, mm -hmm. CC dash got down smash. So, just... We, we kind of talked about it before with SFAT. It's like knowing what to mash and when. Because, <laughs> like, just mashing down tilt is not impressive, but knowing when to mash down tilt is impressive, right? Mm -hmm. So that's one of those things where it's, like, small optimization to kind of, like, get the proper CC. But Lucky doesn't always need it because somehow he's up quite a bit of percent and up a whole stock this game. So, <laughs> Yeah, and... Oof. Yeah, again, we're, we're seeing this aerial-based game from... He is definitely sticking to his guns with regards to that, right? Like, yep. he's he's flying around the stage. He's going for the short hops, full hops. Um, but Lucky just seems to be able to hold a slight advantage, but maybe yeah, not. Yeah, but apparently not at all. Yeah, Ben says, nope, I can just slap his way back down to a two-stock situation, and now it's just even. Ooh. Great up tilt by Ben to punish the shield drop there. I feel like that's another thing that SFAT never got caught for was was shield dropping into the air the tilts yep and oh my god that was such an efficient stock he was that was zero zero and he just took 25 and took the whole stock so really clean comeback from ben so far but just like that okay. we see another aggressive edge guard from lucky's his willingness to go out there can be really scary to play against sometimes because you like you feel like you want to take your time but then you feel like you can't take your time against lucky so like just brutal shine spike there Going back to the crouch cancel game, one of the things we talked about with SFAT was that, um, like, it's very hard to get uh, crouch cancel shine, mm -hmm. um, and, like, oftentimes you don't want to go for that option. Interestingly, yep. Lucky is putting himself in situations where he can actually get the CC shine. Yeah, He's yeah. like, two or three times. Oh, but the fully charged, not no, fully dude. charged, but charged tipper up smash to close out the game. Ben up 2-0, winning on Pokemon Stadium, and that, that, that was a big one, too, because Lucky, like, took the lead early on his strong counter pick mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. so taking one on pokemon makes it much more likely for for Sheik to win a set because now you don't have to win on pokemon and fd or something right like he can lose this next game and then get two Sheik counter picks to do it so ben in a good position right now <laughs> yeah and even when we saw Sfat kind of outpace ben in the winner set um we did still see ben have a very strong i think it was a three stock showing on fod mm -hmm. so right like, yeah lucky's in a situation where he's gonna have to handle that counter pick twice yep yeah that's funny because uh, a lot of sheiks their traditional counter picks are dreamland and battlefield but ben just flies around platform so fast that i feel like fod is the right choice for him because one of the downsides to fod would be that sheik doesn't get to reaction tech chase as much that's not really ben's forte so it doesn't really matter you know so <laughs> he just gets the benefits without the downsides yeah lucky able to take a really quick first stock here quite a bit ahead but We've seen Ben kind of nickel and, his, nickel and dime his way back in these sets. Sheik's up tilt pressure on the side platform there is so brutal. You actually can't shield drop through it. You gotta just wave dash away. And at any time, you're afraid of the short hop forward air. So Ben's really putting on a lot of pressure on those side platforms there. Gets back here, gets a lot of needle snipes into... Oh, he goes for the nair instead of a back air. I like the choice by Lucky to wave dash back to ledge. Um, yeah, he was just in a really tricky spot, and he burned a lot of his shield holding it when he expected Ben to go in. So to ledge dash back and use the Gallant to reclaim center was really clever. Shoutouts to Gallant, the first major of next year. <laughs> Great plug, Ed. Beautiful, beautiful, well done. <laughs> <laughs> and Ben's able to take the stock there. He finds a stray fair, so it's uh, it's relatively even, but. You know, with that percent lead, Lucky does want to try to close out this quickly. Finds a backer in the back air. And a shine spike. Yeah, his willingness to go aggressive off stage is really paying off. I think SFAT there in that spot would have held the ledge. Maybe had a tricky regular getup versus roll timing mix up. Maybe a tricky wave shine versus up smash mix up. But Lucky just cuts out the middleman and just says, Nope, I'm going to shine you off stage and kill you right away. So. Oh, Lucky just waiting. Oh. <laughs> Baits out the grab, baits out the spot dodge, and then doesn't actually end up getting paid off for that. But just that positional pressure that he puts on with that extended dash dance. Mm -hmm. uh, Got to be kicking himself, though, because it feels bad to do something like that and then not get paid off for it. So hopefully he, he can tell himself, okay, this is the read I'm going to make next time. Because part of the reason to do dash dances like that is to gather information. 
Jasper just mentioned really quickly on that last edge guard scenario, that was a really good double jump back to ledge. Oh, mm -hmm. He just crouches oh, and waits yeah. for the grab and punishes <laughs> the whiff with the up smash. To yeah, him. that was clean to dash out of crouch up smash, so. Oh, the runoff forward air. Just wow, like that. The stock's Jeez. gone? Jeez. Fisher. All right. Lucky really needs to find this in order to just keep his tournament hopes alive. Otherwise, Ben's going to take this and mark his ticket to losers finals. Yep. Oh, finds a back air there. This is a good spot right here. Finds the CC. Back air Nair. Reads Ben just falling to the ledge, but Ben does double jump here. Ben finds a slap. Just like that. Like he's at a dangerous percent here. He's now knocked down. Anything can knock him down. It's very scary. Yeah, Lucky's he's definitely. He's got the good position. Man, Lucky's oh. corner pressure is good. He finds these spaced back airs. He finds the dash answer perfectly without space to dash attack. Doesn't find the hit, oh, though. That's... He needs one more. Cool Up throw. Into he back air. Yeah, that should do it, I think. Yep. Oh, uh, no, not quite. <laughs> he gets the F throw, though. Just does a double jump. Nice yep. mix up. He gets the ledge. He finds the nair. Oh, my and God. And he off. finally oh. finds the back air. Does he get one more chance? Does. No, he oh. does. Oh. Okay, okay, and he finds okay. one more back air. Now we have no more chances, right? Right. Yeah. Right. Okay, Lucky okay. gets there, all right? He <laughs> takes his first game. He gets on the board. But, man, Ben made him work for it. But, yeah, that was crazy. L Lucky is, like, I don't know. He's so close to being like absolutely insane because he like baits out like four or five things and like just barely misses the punish like three times. And it's like, man, if he just up smashes any one of those, like <laughs> he's just yeah. the most insane player of all time, you know? So. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh man. So really good stuff to lucky to, to force a game for, but I mean, just insane that that's what we're talking about right now. We're talking about Ben. Like, man, what does that tell you about this guy? He he comes out of nowhere and is he's he's up there challenging the the top top players. And, yep, yep. You know, this is a tournament where he went to a game five set with S Fat already. He took out Zane Sheik. Like, yeah, this yeah, no joke. <laughs> yeah, he's definitely on the come up. It's gonna be exciting to see him uh, when back at live tournaments to see him prove his stuff because uh, it's gonna be a whole lot of eyes on him. I think. <laughs> Lucky oh. has done a great job of creating an early lead in every yeah. game this set. Um, and then forcing Ben to kind of grind his way back. Yeah. Ben has been successful in doing that most of the time here. But I'm curious what's going to happen if Lucky can't start up that big lead, right? He saw mm -hmm. he had yeah. the opportunity again here, but didn't close out the stock. Oh, that grab into just holding him for half a second just to let him know, you know? <laughs> Finds the nice. back air that should do it. No jump here. Doesn't reach the ledge. Good stuff. Lucky taking the lead. All right. Once again. But he can't get any extra credit before bringing it back to even. Lucky does have the advantage in terms of crouch cancel percent, so he's he's not terribly upset about this, but mm -hmm. he would have really liked to get tack on a little percent before losing the stock. Yep, um, and just like that, four straight aerials and he's at 50%, and then he's getting grabbed. Into a charged up smash read. Into some aerials. DI mix-ups from Ben. Really nice. Into a weird up air aerial interrupt thing. Down smash. That looks like it's going to be it. Yep, Ben just took full control of that stock. Just kind of uh, grabbed a hold of Lucky's throat <laughs> the whole time. He just had him. Yeah, and you can see Ben's also really using the crouch cancel percents really well, right? There he yeah. gets hit by a back air. That's shield drop. It should be a pretty threatening position, but he's able to find the crouch and just dash back out. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think people who do, uh, ooh, misses the ledge dash there. That's probably going to cost him quite a bit as it's looking to be a really hard comeback to make at this point. But yeah, I think uh, people who are able to do crouch into dash, uh, that tends to be, oh my God, what are you doing, okay, Lucky? lucky. Flow chart edge guarding closes <laughs> it out. Exactly what we expect to see in that situation. 10 times out of 10. Good stuff from Lucky. <laughs> Um, okay. But yeah, I just think that like crouch cancel dash is like one of the more like recent innovations that just like separates the really, really, really top players. And it's cool to see Ben just there. So, mm -hmm. oh, that grab doesn't connect. If he gets that, yep. Lucky just has a shot. But instead, Ben gets a humongous reversal. Yeah, 60% is so much here. Lucky now has to close out a stock and then oh, he's high percent for this last stock comeback if he even gets there. But Ben is looking to close it out right now and doesn't quite get oh. the back air here. Man, Lucky is just frames away in a couple yeah. of situations. Yeah. And that's, oh, no. The poop hits him. Yeah, it's a, a big way of how... Oh, and that should do it right here. Oh, it doesn't! 
do it. Up smash does close it out. Now Lucky has one more chance. 122% is not where you want to be, but you're okay with it. That's a, that's a chance, you know? And he finds a stray drill. That is going to be a clean opening here. Gets only 16. Oh my god, another one! Another clean drill. Oh, oh but, but he gets wave. a crash cast on the Nair. Oh, the yeah. tag on the down smash on the side platform. <laughs> Man, the is wave shine Nair. Oh, uh, uh, lucky. <laughs> ben finding the grab out of getting drilled in the air. Really good awareness there to realize that he can kind of match it. And the oh. backer is going to do it. Man, Ben. Oh. Ben. That was that was really nice composure. I feel like a lot of players, even really strong players, when you're up three stocks to one, about to shut down a player like Lucky, and then he starts to make mount that kind of comeback. Yeah. Uh, for Ben to just hold his composure and be able to find the, that last hit to close it out, really, really good stuff to him. Yeah, yeah. Really impressed clean good awareness good punish on the wave shine there that's a habit that's that's mm -hmm. been kind of biting him in the butt ever since face roll became ranked <laughs> i think <laughs> that like face roll is the one where he like mm -hmm. as he was getting good he started just cc grabbing those wave shine nares like mm -hmm. mid punish and uh like lucky definitely has adapted i've seen him adapt and uh i think it's just last talk situation kind of fell back to a habit and yeah. uh, gets punished for it so good stuff from ben that was really clean and uh, I don't think that had happened at all the whole set. And mm -hmm. he finds the punish uh, game five last stock when it happened. So he's not slipping at all there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, really clean stuff. And I mean, Ben still had a game to give, right? So yeah, like, yeah absolutely. It, he, he was up and it, it, it was like very tense. Like, oh, can Lucky bring it to a game five? 